The clinical assessment of articulation and phonology created by SuperDuper Publications is a norm referenced instrument designed for speech language pathologists to assess articulation and phonology in preschool and school age children. The CAP is an efficient way to inventory the articulation abilities of young children. It estimates the occurrence of 10 common phonological processes of children's speech, compares word and sentence proficiency of school-aged children, and measures and examines an overall articulation proficiency in children ages 2 years, 6 months, to 8 years, 11 months. Neil is a five-year, six-month-old boy who was initially referred to a speech-language pathologist by his kindergarten teacher, who expressed concern over his poor intelligibility. Due to the nature of his parents' careers, Neil spends most of his days with his sister, Lauren. Lauren has a cochlear implant and currently receives speech therapy. English is Neil's first language. Neil had frequent otitis media as an infant and currently exhibits intelligibility issues. Neil's teacher has observed that he has become more reserved in class activities and has trouble communicating with his peers. Neil exhibits various phonological processes such as fronting, final consonant deletion, and prevocalic voicing, as well as some intelligibility issues. The CAP test comes with a stimulus easel, an examiner's manual, a supplemental examiner's manual, five foam CAP pals, a sticker pack, 50 articulation record forms, 30 phonological process checklist forms, one and two, and all of these items come in a convenient tote bag. The stimulus easel stands up for easy administration and contains four tab sections. The first tab is the introduction story followed by the consonant inventory. This is Elva and this is her friend Math. Elva is the happiest elephant in the jungle because she and Mac are best friends. Elva and Mac are always together. They eat together, they play together, they even go fishing together, and after a long day, they rest together. Some days, Elva and Mac look at books together. Mac likes to point to the pictures and say what he sees. Elva loves to listen. Mac says, that's a train and that's a fire truck. Elva and Mac want you to be their friend and look at some pictures with them. After you look at, it, at each picture, you say what you see. Elva and Mac will listen to you. What is this? Duck. What is this? Shoot. You're doing a great job. Let's look at some more. I'll show you a picture and you say what you see. What is this? Big. The next tab of the stimulus easel is school age sentences. This area tests any error on words, including sound substitution or addition, phonetic distortion, and syllable or word deletion. The examiner reads a sentence that relates to the picture being shown, and then the child repeats the sentence back to the clinician. Say all the words that I say. The mouse works on math at the chalkboard. The mouse works on math at the chalkboard. Say all the words I say. The parrot paints the animal statue at the art table. Say what I say. The parrot paints the animal statue at the art table. The parrot paints the animal statue at the art table. The monkey measures the temperature with the thermometer. The monkey measures the temperature with the thermometer. The fifth tab is for the phonological probes. The phonological probes test these 10 phonological processes. 
Final consonant deletion, cluster reduction, syllable reduction, gliding, vocalization, fronting, deaffrication, stopping, prevocalic and postvocalic devoicing. The client identifies pictures and the clinician proceeds to ask the client what is being shown. One of the 10 processes being tested is final consonant deletion. This is the deletion of the final consonant or consonant cluster in a syllable or word. What is this? Pit. What is this? Bet. What is this? Cage. And what is this? Hi. Another process is fronting. Fronting is a substitution of sounds in the front of the mouth, usually alveolars, for velar or palatal sounds. What is this? Big. What is this? Deep. What is this? King. And what is this? Fist. A third process is prevocalic voicing. This is the voicing of an initial voiceless consonant in a word. What is this? Fist. What is this? Seep. What is this? Jar. The examiner's manual provides information that pertains to the design and development, administration, scoring, and interpretation of the scores. The supplemental examiner's manual includes an overview for phonology, administration, and scoring procedures, as well as normative data. The five foam cap pals help the clinician by eliciting a language sample. Children love the cap pals. Here are some cute stickers. The cap testing materials are conveniently stored in a portable tote bag. The articulation record forms are used to score the child's responses based on the consonant inventory and school age sentence section. The form is four pages in length. The first page is devoted to the client's personal information and consonant inventory as well as school age sentence score. The scores are determined by the standard score, confidence interval, percentile rank, and age equivalent. The second page is where the clinician records the responses for the consonant inventory, including consonant singletons and cluster words. The bottom of the page includes comments where the clinician summarizes the client's speech inventory. The third page provides space for recording responses on multisyllabic words. At the bottom is a summary table in which the clinician fills out according to the information given from the consonant singletons on the page before. The fourth page is used for children ages five years and older. This is the area where the school age sentences are scored. The clinician puts a slash mark through the words that contain sound errors or words the child omits. These errors are then added up and placed in a box to the right of each sentence. Underneath is a consonant singleton index, which is where the information from the consonant singleton summary is placed. Below this is the CAP developmental age norms. The phonological process checklist is six pages in length. It provides scores that measure the occurrence of 10 phonological processes. The first page provides an area for the clinician to fill out the client's information. Below that is a summary of phonological processes, which is where the percent of occurrence is recorded and whether it is an active process or not. The second and third pages are solely for checklist one. 
The 10 phonological processes are provided amongst these two pages with boxes for each. Each phonological process is tested with yes and no responses that are provided by the targeted words from the articulation inventory. For each, all the questions answered yes are counted and divided by the total number of words in each checklist. The percentage of occurrence is then calculated. The fourth and fifth pages are for checklist two. These are used while the phonological probes are being identified. There are also 10 different boxes, one relating to each phonological process. The clinician then transcribes the child's response and a yes or no response to follow, answering the question provided. The final page provides a summary of all of the 10 phonological processes evaluated by the CAF. This is an example of calculating the consonant inventory score. This is an example of calculating sentence score. Here is an example of a completed phonological process checklist.